Yosh, what's going on, bros? It's Shugs, and this is the first for me. I've never posted for this this uh, this channel, and I'd love to post more often. So let me know if you guys want to see me here more often, and uh, I'll get right on that. But I understand I'm not going to get the most the warmest welcome that I possibly could, simply because I'm not posting something that people are naturally accustomed to seeing, like you know your typical Call of Duties or your Battlefields. But to let you know, I am a fan of both. I'm more of a fan of Battlefield than Call of Duty personally, but I do play both. And I do have consoles that I play these games on as well as my PC. But uh, this this gameplay. So first of all, let me introduce the gameplay. And just know that the topic is going to be irrelevant to the gameplay. Or not completely irrelevant. But at the same time, it's going to be relevant for everyone on this channel anyways that cares about competitive gaming. Let me just get it out of the way. The topic is going to be about the term esports specifically. And whether or not that's an appropriate term for what we know is competitive gaming and if you have an opinion on that or if you would like to hear an opinion on that then stick around for the gameplay but um yeah so first let me get some stuff out of the way so this game is called tribes ascend and this is a it's a free to play before i say anything else that should be the most important thing or the most relevant thing to you if you're a bit skeptical about whether or not you should invest time and or money into this game seeing as how there's no money to be invested at all since it's free uh, so whether or not you should spend your time playing this game, um, it's a free to play like I mentioned before So if you don't enjoy it, there's nothing to lose You can install it and uninstall it if you don't actually like the game after playing it for a few hours But uh, I highly recommend giving this game a shot and this game will be releasing in the uh, uh, Quarter one of 2012. So I guess the first three months of uh, 2012 so expect it then maybe by the time you're watching this uh, it's already out, but it's a, it's a high skill ceiling game, which means that the more you play, the more time you invest into it, aside from things like perks and abilities that you naturally get from earning credits by playing the game, you develop knowledge, obviously, and skill of the game, and your aim gets better, your, your, your uh, ability to perceive and predict uh, enemy behavior gets better. Uh, you just become a better player and that's that's obviously that happens in all shooters well in a, in a high skill ceiling in a skill based shooter like quake or team fortress 2 or uh, you know tribes or something like halo uh, you you kind of uh, it, it's more it's even more so that that your knowledge translates into success your knowledge and skill translates into success in comparison to something like Call of Duty or Battlefield, and not to say that those games don't take skill, but what I'm saying is that no matter how good you are of a player, you're not untouchable. You can always die to somebody that's new to the game, and although you may be able to limit how often you're able to be killed by somebody that's new to the game, you're always, always, uh, you're, you're still mortal. There's no, if you get what I'm saying, you can always die to just a random nade or an overpowered weapon while you're using like, you know, something that requires a little more skill. Somebody might be using something that's a little cheaper and uh, that can be frustrating as well as, you know, team stacking and games like that. Typically, uh, you know, having four or five plus uh, teammates will typically mean that you're going to win the lobby no matter how good your opponents are if people are focusing on the objective. And that's that's good. That's fun. You know, sometimes you need that game to just have fun and relax and kick back and just throw your weight around with a full party. And I personally enjoy games like that too. But check this shot out. This is what Tribes is all about. This is one of the most satisfying things you can do in Tribes is getting a mid-air shot. And uh, that sound. You learn to really, really appreciate that sound. But um, you'll see this guy in a second chatting it up. Just, just really angry. Uh, Jack Novius, pay attention to him. The reason that, or Akuma, uh, and Jack Novius later on, but you'll see that these guys are a little salty that I'm raping with this class. And the reason that I'm using this class, this is a class that's perceived to be a little cheap by some of us in the community, specifically me. I think that this class is just doesn't fit in the game at all. And the way that I go about getting this this class removed is abusing it. And you know, if I was on something a little more mainstream something with a much more uh, larger following like call of duty where the developers for the most part don't really listen uh i wouldn't be abusing something overpowered simply because you know i know it's not going to help and uh why spread it around why spread the knowledge around but something like this uh, i'm in the forums letting people know that it's overpowered other people are as well and i actually recognize a few of these people in the lobby that were in the forums responding to my post saying that this class isn't actually annoying, uh, not that it's overpowered, it's not overpowered, it just doesn't fit in the game. 
and I was saying how it didn't work. It just doesn't work with the game. I personally think that it's annoying, and I think it should be nerfed more. And they were disagreeing with me, so I figured, you know what, let me use it on you and let me see how you feel. And turns out these guys weren't necessarily the biggest fans of this class, after all. So, um, that was funny, that was, uh, that was amusing for me, but... Uh, anyways, the high skill ceiling game, uh, you'll see later on, when somebody beats you, it's, it's because they were better than you at that point in time. And when somebody kills you, typically all you can really do is just tip your hat off and say, you know what dude, nice shot, good job, wow you're a beast with that pistol, wow you're fucking, you're, you're a beast, like, or you just don't say anything at all. You don't typically get angry and start, you know, throwing a tantrum and telling somebody to go die in a fire uh, when you get killed by somebody. And that's just because the game is skill based. You know that, that that person deserved to kill you or you know that you did something stupid. And that's something that I really, really like about skill based shooters, which is why I'm always looking for them. But, um, anyways, the reason that I'm using this gameplay as a backdrop is because this game, which is in closed beta still, actually already got inducted into NASL, North America Star League, which is kind of like an MLG. Uh, but instead, they, they post mainly, uh, you know, they're, they're mainly revolved around games like StarCraft II or Heroes of New Earth. And uh, this is actually the first time a first-person shooter has ever been put into the rotation for NASL, which is really interesting. That really symbolizes the growth of the FPS community and no matter what console you play on, no matter what platform or game or title, you should be happy for the growth of any FPS in the competitive scene regardless because that means that what you do, what you enjoy doing as a hobby just becomes that much more respectable, be gains that much more renown, gains that much more credibility in the community. So let's get right down to it. Is esports the right term? For what we know is competitive gaming is that something that we want to is that the, is that the, the the term specifically that we want to call what we know is competitive gaming and uh you know let me know in the the comments down below whether or not you agree with that uh if you think that esports is a good is a good term if it's a bad term or if you think it's a bad term and you have another suggestion entirely please let me know because uh, we can all use the information to to use in other conversations or we can all share for you know share information with each other and learn from each other and uh, I'm interested to see some of your guys' opinions in the chat or in the comments section but me personally if you want to know my opinion um, I think esports is is a, a kind of a stupid term I personally I feel like it dwarfs what we know as competitive gaming, it makes it this this silly thing, the silly trivial thing that isn't as relevant as regular sports. And I've been an athlete for a large portion of my life, played high school varsity basketball, Division Two, SoCal. Uh, so that's pretty much Coach Carter basketball. If you guys have ever seen that movie, the people are that talented, they're that tall, they're that good. Um, so I played at that level. I've played varsity volleyball as well for the same school, and. Uh, you know, I've I've seen it all. I've seen. I, I feel like I have insight into the, the the sports scene and you know the gaming scene in relation to the sports scene. And I think that the term esports is a really derogatory, you know, title for what we know as competitive gaming. It shouldn't be under the shadow of sports because it's not anything similar to sports other than that one team loses and another team wins and you know personally I think that the term competitive gaming is so much more appropriate than esports but that doesn't just it's not something it's it's not a it's not a term that you can make a household term if you know what I'm saying it's not something that you can feed the mainstream and uh, we really need to find something that's a little more appropriate to call this this competitive scene that we have for gaming and you know, I really don't have any other suggestions besides competitive gaming uh, or, you know, pro gaming is another term that, that I don't like because what's typical with the competitive gaming scene is you have a lot of egos and saying something like pro gaming just kind of makes us sound like an asshole and uh, I really think that the competitive scene needs a little less of that and instead needs to sound a little more professional. So. Yeah, so that's my opinion on the matter. Uh, I'd really like to see the esports term go away because I don't feel that that it should just be shadowed. It should just be forever shadowed by actual sports because I think it's just as respectable as as you know the sports that we enjoy watching or playing. And uh, that's really my opinion on the matter. It, like I said, uh, please let me know your opinions if you have one. Please type it in the comments below. Let's spark some debate. But uh, that's pretty much it for the gameplay. That's that's it for the commentary. And if you enjoy, I, if you enjoy content like this, I post TF2, I post Battlefield, I post uh, Tribes, I post shooters in general. 
and I prefer my shooters on PC, so if you enjoy PC shooter content, then check out my channel, make sure you subscribe, make sure to like and favorite this video to support the uh, Yaoish community. Anyways, thanks for watching, Yaoish bros. Uh, peace out, this has been Jux. Later.